This is the Vince show. Well, the night the gloves were knitted by the other person. <laughs> the gloves were, were the gloves were not taken off. They were they were knitting. Not taken off, not thrown down, nothing. Tim Walls versus the couch humper Shady Vance. <laughs> Come on now. <clears throat> Which uh, wasn't brought boring. up one time during the debate, by the no, way. It would have been no, way better if were, that had happened. There were so many missed opportunities. Like, just not even a veil shot at a couch or anything. Like, nothing. Yeah. He could have he could have made a fabric reference. He could have made a cushion reference. There are so many opportunities to light up the 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 nation, the crowd. There wasn't a crowd there, obviously, but you you know what I mean. It was it was. I'm with you. It was pretty boring. Maga Miller, give us the talking points from Maga. How great he did, and how this is going to pull thirty percent of independent voters over to the couch humper and the sex criminal. Well, go. Other than uh, Tim Tim Walls um, admitting that he's friends with school shooters, um, his his deer in a headlight look was quite often, um, and his his explanation of why he said he was in the Tiananmen Square uh, protest time, but he wasn't there until like a month and a half later he basically said i was speaking in broad terms and so it's like he didn't it was called out like hey you weren't there just admit it and he really would even want a minute at that point so it's like just here's the clip just fast here's up. the clip Governor, just to follow up on that, the question was, can you explain the no, discrepancy? Just, all I said on this was, is I got there that summer and misspoke on this. So I, I will just, that's what I've said. So I was in Hong Kong and China during the democracy protest went in. And from that, I learned a lot of what needed to be in, in governance. Thank you, Governor. Well, <laughs> just, yeah. And here's just. the deal, because we love our audience and we know that y'all don't have all the time in the world because you're probably running from like the, you know, the process server or your baby mama who is looking for her back child support. Or the Haitian we made immigrants. That or the Haitian immigrants. We made that <laughs> clip shorter. Because actually, two minutes prior to that, he rambled for two minutes and didn't say anything. And before the Harris people come after us, I'm voting probably for Harris and Walls. And that was a disaster. See, Maga Miller, you can vote for somebody and be objective and say they sucked. Just yeah. letting you know. Um, I thought. I, I thought honestly, just on the broader debate, I, I thought it was. I thought it was just so docile. They agreed. A lot. They were really civil to each other. There was so much just, oh, yeah, that was so like Tim. There was a moment where Tim Walls talked about a 17 year old witnessing a shooting. And, you know, J.D. Vance um, was just, you know, very kind about that. I thought it was funny that J.D. Vance uh, on the on the shooting thing managed to dance around actually doing anything productive on how to protect our schools. He was like. Beef up the windows, beef up the doors, put more officers in there, and let's not let's not worry about the guns. But anyway, that's a whole different subject. I, I just thought it was I just thought it was weird. They they very rarely disagreed. It was super docile debate. I thought they spent a lot of time um, just kind of holding hands and you know saying no, you're good, no, you're good, and it was just I don't know. I expected more fireworks to be honest with you. I mean, I listened to that answer when it was live, and I was just like. Wait, what? 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, if, if I said, hey, I was at Woodstock 1969 and people go, hey, wait a second, you weren't born. You go, my bad. I lied. <laughs> but let me tell you who lied more. Trump. Yeah. Like, that's what you do. You don't sit yeah. there and be like, oh, I'm a knucklehead. I got confused. Like, yeah, dude, you're going to be the vice president. 
We don't need the vice president confused. Right. Especially about something like you should where you being were. There. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I was uh, I was in New York City on 9/11. Really? Well, I mean, I went to New York City like three years later after 9/11. Kind of same thing, right? Like it's just like that's almost like being at the January 6th protest and then like storming the Capitol and then saying you weren't there. I mean, it. He's that's got what Mac Miller does. He's got the same memory as the J6 protesters. Too. Oh my <laughs> word! Goodness <laughs> gracious, fed sitter. Broad accusations. I'm just here to stir so, the pot. So, Maga You're Miller, why don't you tell us what? Maga Miller, why don't you tell us where JD Vance failed, the couch humper, in the debate? <laughs> um, be objective I, now. Okay, be objective. Um, honestly, I don't know. Oh, he was perfect, right? No, he wasn't. I'll tell perfect. you where he failed. I, I, he wasn't perfect. I I do wish he would have found an area to like make, potentially put a, a a knockout blow to to walls and, and and Harris. However, it's a vice president debate. They're never going to do a knockout blow. Knockout, knockout okay. blow but, with what? A pillow? Like they they were no, throwing couch, feathers uh, at cushion. each other. It was just a pillow. They were knitting gloves for each other yeah, on go. worldwide television. And, and, and so that's that's what I was here, I was getting here, at. You, you guys get all triggered and everything like that and jump all <laughs> over everything. What I was gonna say is I wish he would have been able to find a spot where he could do a knockout blow. However, the way that it was being uh performed will say by both of the VP candidates, they were not wanting to look the aggressor at all. And I think the moderators didn't like that at at the onset. And then finally they're just like, well, they're not really like, we're not getting that trigger moment from either one of them. So we're just going to keep going on. So at, at one point early on, they actually like took, full control and said we're you know basically we cut your mics because we have to get going on because there's so many things we want to get to we all know that the 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 candidates are going to circle back anyways they're going to be asked a question they're going to say thank you for that statement and that question but i'm going to go back 45 minutes ago because you cut my mics off so i digress i don't know if there really was an opportunity However, I was pleased at the you know the civility of it between the two of them, um, which is nice, and and it'll it'll be great that uh, you have somewhat of a lightning rod in President Trump, and then you'll have a calm and soothing uh, VP JD Vance. Oh, uh, I'll tell you where JD Vance screwed up is. Thank you. They, they asked him straight up. You have said in the past that you would not have certified the 2020 presidential election. Um, essentially, if all governors were to certify the 2024 election, will you protest this election again? J.D. Vance even said something in the past about sending a different elector to uh, to Washington to cast the elector the electoral college votes. And that dude sidestepped that question. I mean, if if. This was the Matrix. He would have been Keanu Reeves. He would have been just, just all around that question because he did not give a straight answer. It was it was pathetic. I thought that that he is still hanging on to the fact that he thinks the the twenty twenty election was stolen. I mean, it, he doesn't he doesn't believe that because in twenty twenty he hated Trump. That's true. Okay. That's true. They did ask him too about like about his past comments about Trump, and he was like, "I've disagreed with Trump in the past." And they were like, "You called him America's Hitler." <laughs> All right now, the sex criminal himself, Donald oh, Trump, Lord. twisted the knife over Minnesota Governor and Democratic Vice President nominee Tim Walz' accidental declaration that he's became friends with school shooters during the vice presidential debate Tuesday night. Uh, after being asked about his support for an assault weapons ban after pre previously opposing such a measure, Walls said, yeah, I sat in that office with those Sandy Hook parents. 
I became friends with school shooters. I've seen it. Somebody Look, tell NRA, Alex Jones. <laughs> I, I was NRA guy for a long time. They used to teach gun safety. I'm of an age where my shotgun was in my car so I could pheasant hunt after football practice. That's not where we live today. A true social Trump delighted in Walls' misstep, writing that it's the second time he has said, I've been friends with school shooters. <laughs> Trump went on to say, what does he mean by this? Is he insane? The former president followed up with another post in which he remarked that Walls made a very big mistake on gun shooters before asking more rhetorical questions. Does anyone think he knows what he said? Will he have a news conference after the debate to apologize to the parents and others who were so hor horribly hurt? That's kind of big talk coming from somebody who, you know, wants to arm kindergartners, but um, not a good night for Governor Walls. Here was, I think, his most shining moment and the 90 minutes of the snooze fest that we call the vice presidential debate. You demonize it. And we saw this. And, and Senator Vance, and it surprises me on this, talking about and saying I will create stories to bring attention to this. That vilified a large number of people who were here legally in the community of Springfield. The Republican governor said, it's not true. Don't do it. There's consequences for this. There's consequences. We could come together. Senator Langford did it. We could come together and solve this if we didn't let Donald Trump continue to make it an issue. And the consequences in Springfield were the governor had to send state law enforcement to escort kindergartners to school. I believe Senator Vance wants to solve this, but by standing with Donald Trump and not working together to find a solution, it becomes a talking point. And when it becomes a talking point like this, we dehumanize and villainize other human beings. T Tim. Governor, yes, really Governor your time is up. Senator, I'll give you one minute, but I, let me just. Ask. Well, then J.D. Vance went on to talk about his favorite couch. So we didn't <laughs> that part. Or talk. Or talk about his mom or his book or something like that. That was something else yeah. I noticed is that like um, anytime he didn't really want to answer a question, he'd like talk about his book. I feel like he took a page out of Trump's playbook there. It's like when you're well, losing, just, shill something, you know? They're just grifting for the MAGA morons to buy something. That's all it is. <laughs> I, um, sure. I liked... Uh, I, I like the mascara that uh, old Shady Vance was wearing tonight. His eyes looked purdy. <laughs> they really did. He was going to go party on a street corner after the, after the debate. Okay. Yeah, probably right. cross dressing again. No. Going to a couch no. factory. So let's let's. I'm sure we were all part of some sort of lesson while we were in school about how to prepare yourself in the. Um, JFK. What kind of school did you go to? They're preparing yeah. a bunch of minors yeah. with mascara for boys. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you were against that. How, no, that was the first how, how, thing I was told. yourself to be up on Is, stage. Before Maxie you go outside, Pad Miller, put some mascara. <laughs> Maxi Pad Miller to go with Tampon Tim. So, I forget, what was it, the 56th debate where JFK and Nixon debated each Ooh. other? We're going way back. 1956? Yeah. I, I believe so. I, maybe I'm, I'm wrong. Maybe it was 1960. I don't remember. It, it was the debate between uh, Richard Nixon and JFK. And it was like maybe the first televised presidential debate. So Nixon absolutely refused any sort of makeup to being on stage, being on camera, being under the, the stage lights. Okay. Make JFK. this good. Hey, this is good. I'm about to bury this man. Yeah. Continue. So JFK did put on stage makeup, you know, whether it be guy liner, foundation, whatever. Heavy on the eyeliner, yeah. Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So there was a poll taken afterwards. The radio listeners overwhelmingly favored Nixon. The viewers overwhelmingly favored JFK because he did not appear nervous. He did not appear sweaty like Nixon did. You demonize it. And we said, I want to point true. out this Don't part here. Didn't let the Donald Trump look. continue to make it an issue. And the consequences in Springfield were. That's the same look he gives to a couch. <laughs> oh, my word. I'll be there in a minute. That's the look of like, thank you for opening this door. I'm about to 
park right through. Jump on the couch. <laughs> Thanks for taking off the plastic covering on the couch so daddy can be more comfortable. Right, Maxi Pad Miller? <laughs> You're a little obsessed with the couch there, Rick. Yeah. Y'all are all against cross dressers or trans people, and your vice president's wearing eyeliner on stage, looking like Lady Gaga. No, uh, he's who was a cross dresser in college, by the way. <laughs> Maybe still is. That's a different topic. Um, the whole point Ooh, of the he eyeliner probably is, he's is. Un- the, yeah the 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 point of the eyeliner, if he even was wearing it is to make his features stand out more so he's more prettier on the eyes to some people yeah. so you can see the definition trying to pull, in his eyes trying to pull that lgbtq vote huh <laughs> look at me i'm so you, pretty i'm jd vance i don't like use, catless women i like hairless men could have yeah. used one of the uh the queer eye guys to 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 make him look nice before he got on stage. This is the Vance 